All right. All right. Ready? Thank you, Tank. Yep. Yep. No problem. Man. All right. I got I got today with me my client Jasper. I had recently helped him sell a home over here in Norfolk, Ghent area. Uh, so thank and first of all, Jasper, thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Uh, it means a ton to me. It helps me grow my business, but most importantly, it helps other people uh, that have never used my services get a good idea of exactly how the experience is, right? So thank you. I really appreciate it, and especially taking your time out of the weekend for this. Uh, Absolutely. So, yeah, thank you, man. And so first of all, can you tell me a little bit about your experience uh, previously, you know, when buying or selling with other agents? Yeah, sure. Um, you know, I had a I had a great experience. It was a, actually some time ago, though, but... Um, that's good. I love yeah. hearing that. Yeah, so this is a, this this would be my second home that I'm selling, and um, I decided to have I decided to do a FISBO initially, which is a for sale by yeah. owner. Yeah. Okay. And can it, so the first experience with an agent was good. That's glad I'm glad to hear that. Uh, yeah. And can you give me an idea of why you decided to try to sell on your own, and you know how the experience was? Because I know it wasn't too long, um, but yeah. I know yeah most people. <laughs> When they go the for sale by owner route, a lot of the times they're looking to save money, which I don't blame them. So is that? Can you give me an idea of that? Is that why? That was the total mindset um, of choosing for sale by owner. It was the fact that I looked at the fees that I would have to pay at the, yeah. at the price point that I was selling my home at. Yeah, I was just like, ah, eh, that's a little too much. But uh, one thing, one selling point, and I know we'll talk about this a little further, but uh, one selling point that really turned me on to getting an agent, especially how you approached me, was um, because I I didn't know much about the marketing aspect. You know, I, I, I was really getting in over my heels, or that's an actual saying. Gotcha, gotcha. And um, so your one reason, it was real to save money. Was there any other specific reason? Um, looking back, that was, <laughs> that was a major reason. I, yeah. I guess, sure there's other reasons, but... Dude, the money was really yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's just, yeah, that's usually the main factor as well for a lot of other people I end up working with, uh, or yeah. you know, if that speaks for that, I usually go for sale by owner route. Um, you, and it wasn't. Uh, yeah, you were saying. Oh, I was, I was going to say another aspect of it is I did have a tenant in the unit. Okay. And um, and I still had time on the lease. It was actually two months, so I was just putting the property on the market as a dealer. Actually, I was. I definitely did want to sell it, um, gotcha. but. I just figured it was so far out till the tenants had moved out that, you know, I would set, set it up. I'd, gotcha. I'd, you know, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. And I know <clears throat> it wasn't too long that you were trying, I think it was like two weeks you were trying to sell on your own or even a week, maybe. Yeah, it was, it was about a, it was about a, it was about a week. I was, about a week. And can, can you tell me how yeah. the experience was? Like, cause I don't yeah. know, if you, I can't remember, I can't yeah. recall if you had a lot of showings or not, but can you give me a little idea? you know, the uh, phone call volume, things like that, the how sure. this was. So interestingly enough, so how I approached it was, you know, I, I initially I put it on Zillow. Yeah. Um, that was my only medium aside from Facebook. Um, okay. you know, of course, a link in my Instagram, which whatever. Yeah. Um, so, and then I would make these, uh, this is me at marketing. I would make these silly, uh, videos, hey, check out my home, you know, with a Snapchat filter with the teddy bear ears, you know, whatever. <laughs> that was comical, you know. But, um, I don't know if it was um, apropos to, you know, my my true mission of selling the home. But anyway, it was just, you know, just my marketing kick. Um, anyway, so going back to um, my experience, interestingly enough, I I got more calls from realtors picking up on the Zillow um, the Zillow ad or whatever you want to call it, the Zillow profile, the listing, that's what it is. And, uh, and trying to pitch to me and I wasn't trying to hear it, you know, um, it was just the way they came off also, it yeah. was, you know, but, uh, yeah. Gotcha. So that, that's, yeah, that's what I hear a lot too, is most of the phone calls that a lot of for sale by owners end up getting are realtors. Um, and you know, pitches that you're talking about and sure. can you give me an idea of why, uh, you know, cause I'm not the first agent you spoke to, if I recall, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. and why, you know, you actually allowed me to come check out the home and meet in person. Um, Tane, I would have to say you're different. I could tell. So, so 
aside from like, you know, little things, um, I'm painting a broad stroke here. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, no, no problem. Just, con just conversing with you on the converse, uh, when we had talked, you initially you had called me Tane, okay? Yeah. And again, you weren't one of the first people to actually reach out to me. Yeah. But when we talked, you, your questions were insightful. You weren't trying to pitch me. You were trying to see if you, if you and I were a good fit. And then not even then you, um, you know, we, you know, we agreed to a meeting, uh, eventually yeah. I had to get back to you because I was at the office. Um, but we agreed to a meeting and then um, I was sold because really one of the factors that really got me was of course the whole value you bring to, yeah. the, to the whole process. Right. And we could go into that further later on yeah. because there's actually more than you didn't even clue me in on that. I, you know, that I experienced and that, that's what made this whole process phenomenal for me yeah. um, as a seller. But um I would say, yeah, I would say that you just, you were different and I saw that I would never have to field any more calls from other realtors Got you know, choosing you. Yeah. So, and yeah, that's what, yeah. that was the impetus. For cool. Company. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. My, uh, my approach is very different when working with people, you know, the way I look at it, just treat people right, be honest. Yeah. And, uh, you know, typically on the first phone call when we're first meeting, just really seeing if you're open to backup plan for down the road in case if you ever need any help right which is pretty fair in my opinion yeah. um but and believe it or not you were actually one of the first people that uh on the first appointment the preview point where you're like where you know i think it has a lot to do with you being very um uh, logical thinking and as well like number you're, you're very you look at the numbers too and then when we spoke you're like wait if everything you're offering is pretty much risk-free i can continue doing my own thing why not you're actually one of the first people on the first preview appointment where we ended up just, you know, putting on the home on the market <laughs> that same sure. week. Um, yeah. So, which was really, really cool to see, um, especially, you know, knowing the fact that what I'm offering is like, you, again, not too many people will think of it logically wise, where it's like, this is completely risk-free. Why not? <laughs> so, thank yeah, you and that, that. Absolutely. And you do bring a, a great point on that. You know, um, being a, originally coming in as a, for sale by owner, FISBO um, seller, right? Yeah. Um, you, it was your, what you had offered was win-win because, you know, you, you offer yeah. to still, excuse me about that, there you go. for to still, um, you know, market my property, especially with the skill sets that you have. And, you know, that I, I really picked up on that, but, um, and that, when I say the skill sets, I'm talking about the social media marketing, you know, using Facebook advertisements, Google advertisements, stuff yeah. like that. It introduced me to other um, platforms, not only Zillow, because I was unaware of other platforms, you know, and you have that, you have that knowledge base. But, um, you know, it was, it was the fact that in addition to you doing what you were going to do, I could still, I had free reign to still market my property, Bisbo. Yeah. Worked on an arrangement that, was it was win win, you know, and there was different yeah. situations. But you know, I, you know what? Once you went to work, and I, and of course, you know, I have my own work too, and I, you know, I. Yeah. Say, but once you started, once I started to see, once I started realizing your level of effort and your level of skill, it was it was all you, you know, and I I was okay with, um, conceding to your professionalism. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, that's one of the cool things that, you know, that you highlighted actually where I, you know, at the end of the day, when the whole, you know, that's all we care about really, me as the realtor and you as the owners, the home selling, right? So sure. a lot of uh, agreements out there with other agents, they have what's called an exclusive right to sell agreement, where essentially, regardless of who finds the buyer, it could be your neighbor, whoever it might be, they still get paid a full 6% commission, which I don't find fair at all. So that's one of the things I've created is my savvy seller program that you're talking about where essentially I allow you to continue marketing the home on your own because it's two, you know, two people, you know, two people that are pushing out. You're, you know, you're doing your marketing and I'm also doing my marketing. At the end of the day, as long as a buyer comes, that's all I care about. And I also have my flexible commission program in place where if you found the buyer, uh, you know, you save a good amount of money or even pay 0% commission, which I think a lot of people love. So um, I'm glad to hear that that really caught your attention in the beginning. Um, yeah. 
And can, yeah, and can you give me an idea of why you decided to try out my services instead of other realtors? Uh, was, I the, was I the only realtor that you actually met with in person? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, the others gotcha. couldn't even get past the phone call. Gotcha. Okay. So cool. So pretty much it's really my approach that really, because you didn't really yeah. get it. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know if it's, you know, you you are light years apart, Tane, and um, compared to just the, just the people that were pitching to me. Um, and again, it goes to, you know, you, you identifying if you actually identifying with the, uh, the seller in, in my case, the seller, right. And, um, feeling me out, feeling out the situation, what I'm looking for, you know, and stuff like that. And then, you know, just putting it out there. Hey, you know what? Um, this is, this is what I have. And instead of, you know, really like when I get those calls, it's just like, bam, right into it, you know? Yeah. And then, yeah. of course, you could tell tonality when you, when we converse, you know, um, and I yeah. think, that, you know, you're actually a good dude. And, you know, I, so that's, that Thank was, you. yeah, everything. Yeah. Was, Thank you, man. Yeah, I look yeah. at you, you as a friend, man. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's nice, it's total strangers get, kicking it off and becoming friends yeah. at the end, in, uh, in the long run, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, my, my approach is definitely very different. Um, because at the end of the day, not everybody, uh, not for everybody, it doesn't make sense to work with the realtor, right? Like there's certain scenarios where I've speak to people and it's like, yeah, hey, it doesn't look like you need any realtors because money wise, it doesn't make sense for you. You know, then as well, lodge, you know, just a matter of if you're some people out there that actually have the time on their hand to be able to do all these things, it doesn't make any sense. So yeah. not everybody is a good fit to work with the realtor, full service realtor, especially, right? So yeah, that's, totally a good, agree with yeah, that. that's, that's a good point that you brought up because one thing is agents pitching constantly, but Hey, you, you don't know what the other person might be experiencing or, you know, what, whatever their situation might be, because again, they may have the time on their hand, right? So it's, yeah. it makes sense for them to do for sale route on a route. Um, but, and that's, yeah. And I just interject really quickly. Yeah. And that's, Absolutely true. Because you know what, my whole point with that was, I felt like a number, like they were going through the numbers and just boom. And you know what, you actually took the time. And yeah, that's yeah. by far what set you above. Thank you. Know? you. That's Thank what you, gave you this. That's what gave us the second opportunity to actually. Gotcha. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. And uh, what did you like and appreciate most about working with me? <laughs> um. I, I laugh because there's like zero, even if you didn't, even if the house didn't sell, because in my, in my situation, my, my house is very unique. It's very, um, the market on it is very small. Yeah. yeah. It's not for everybody. Yeah. It's, so, so what Jasper's talking about, it's a, it's a loft in Ghent, you know, uh, pretty much a one bedroom, but technically it's almost a studio, right? It, it, yeah. It's, it's open. So yeah, I know exactly yeah. what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. It has, it has this um, spiral staircase yeah. to egress, you know, yeah. come into the place and exit the place. And it's just, you know, it has to be young, professional, maybe young couple, stuff like that. So it's very small. And yeah. uh, even if the house, even if the loft did not sell, um, I would, I wouldn't have any, any negative things to say. Um, and the reason why, and it goes back to, of course, you're a good person, but um, secondly, and on top of that is, you know, you're, you're ultimately professional, you know, you, you, um, you're, you're phenomenal with, uh, marketing, you, you know, and I have dealt with realtors in the past, um, yeah. you know, when I sold my previous property and then of course, when I bought my previous par property and one thing I did, one thing I, again, like I said, you're, you're above everybody else that I've dealt with because you're attainable. Um, if I, if you're, you're accessible, if I ever need to reach out to you, I just either text you or call you and vice versa. Yeah. And, you know, if there's like something up, you, you, will, you'll reach out to me and it's, it's immediate or it's almost immediate. It's not like, Oh, I'll get back to you and never hear for you for two days. And I'm like, what's going on? You know, there's never that kind of stress. Yeah. And that's, that's a good feeling when you don't yeah. have to worry about stuff you don't need to worry about. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, is a huge factor in our industry. Uh, that's, yeah. that's, yeah, that's one thing as an entrepreneur I try to uh, capitalize on because again, it's a huge weak, weak point in a lot of people's businesses. So it's, yeah. it's very easy to do, but very easy not to do as well. Absolutely. And so I know I'm not, I, I knew, I absolutely knew that I was not your only client. Yeah. However, you treated me with that level of, 
um, professionalism that, you know, I felt like you had, you, you were on top of it. And, and, uh, and to speak to that also, you know, I, I work with a lot of professionals. Yeah. So, you know, you're, you're, you, you're a realtor, you are a professional, you're a salesperson, yeah. professional. Yeah. But then, so you have this project management kind of level of professionalism also, yeah. because, you know, there was a lot of milestones that had to occur for my property to sell. You know, again, I had a tenant yeah. um, repairs, you know, there was, um, you know, there were the um, open houses, which you spearheaded. I never had to worry about that. Like yeah. you were there, you know, you, all of that, um, the marketing, everything, all those different tasks, all those different milestones you were on top of. And as we got closer to that, you know, you ensured that I was abreast on what was going on, you know, and if I needed to, if I had any actions, you were the proper, the proper yeah, project. The man, yeah, the management. I absolutely appreciate that. Yeah. In addition to just everything is yeah. you know, phenomenal communication, project management skills, uh, salesmanship uh, or salespersonship, whatever. Um, you know, and then the, at the advertising, the marketing, you know, all of that. And then yeah. of course, always feeling like, um, you know, that I was uh, not just a number. Yeah. Thank you. I try my best, man. It's at the end of the day, I'm, I'm a very real person. And it's, I guess part of the ways I was raised, just treat people nice and do right Absolutely. by people. That's my motto, do right, be, you know, do right by people and it'll just come back, right? Yeah. Um, and yeah, you brought up management. Management's, management's definitely a huge factor in our industry as well, where I see a lot of flaws, where I try to perfect it, right? Try my best to mm -hmm. uh, make the experience better on the management level. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things I mentioned with the tenant being in there, right? We, you know, this happened all during COVID, Right. So one of the problems we ran into where other people I ran into problems, your tenant, James, great guy, by the way. Um, but he ran into a problem being able to actually see places because COVID, there were certain places that weren't showing. And, you know, and I think it was like 20, 20 to 25 days before we were actually about to close, found out he's running into pretty much a, a halt with that. So I, had, I jumped in, started showing him uh, places to possibly rent out. And it worked out perfect where, you know, it worked out for everybody. We got the clothes on time. Um, mm -hmm. And that's definitely a huge factor because I do know, I mean, at the end of the day, we could have, it could have been a simple delay if I didn't help out. Right. So, Absolutely. yeah, it's, um, it's, it's awesome to hear that, that, you know, you do that. You truly appreciate it. Um, another fact, you know, another management aspect, the open house, the marketing aspect of it, I don't know if you recall, but, the open the buyer actually came from the open house and yeah. yeah and during the open house we had 20 plus people uh you know through my facebook ad marketing signs that i had put out cold calling around the neighborhood so your neighbors stopped by I, I, we had a ton of people stop by and one thing that gets overlooked in our industry is exactly uh, actually the open house a lot of people think that the open house is just strictly for nosy neighbors and you know just, you know, uh, looky lose, we call them, right? People right. that are just look, looking. But fact of the matter is, yes, that is true. There's going to be neighbors and looky lose. However, there's, uh, there's one crowd uh, that a lot of people overlook, and that is the people that are super busy with work, such as our buyer. And yeah. the open house actually allows them to plan out. Because, again, people forget that, you know, when you're working with the buyer's agent, your schedule needs to align with the buyer's agent in order to do showings. Right. I have two people that I personally work with. That I have a tough time to schedule showings because they get off at seven, eight o'clock, can't do any showings past that time with most homeowners. So right. in that scenario, like, I mean, for example, James, I don't think would have been able to show a home at eight o'clock at night, you know, that your tenant allow people to let people in that late at night. So that sure. open house worked out perfect where we got a ton of traffic of people that work two jobs or just were super busy with the schedule because they're a nurse. Right. So right. that's the one thing, the message for people out there that's watching this, just make sure you utilize all platforms of, you know, marketing. The open house, I think is crucial for people, especially that is super busy with work and can't go see the houses because that, again, that buyer came from an open house. So, yeah. And just to add on to that, um, you know, Tane offered some invaluable advice on, of course, my price point. Um, and then, you know, because um, I, I didn't price it correctly and I was missing a few brackets, so I would totally listen to Tane um, because, you know, just just his level of competence is just... But, um, you know, just to add on to um, the, the open house aspect of it, 
you know, Tain has this methodology and, you know, he, he, he markets, I'm not going to go into his brand too much because, you know, that's, that's what you're paying for really. But um, when that open house happens, like he said, he was able to pull in 20 plus um, people to look at the property. My buyer, um, the, the buyer that I ultimately settled on um, was a full price, uh, yeah. amazing full terms um, yeah. purchaser. And that was from the open house. Yeah. And Tain was there. Like I didn't have to make a cameo, you yeah. know, or you get involved. You know, if, well, I'm a busy individual also. I have yeah. so much. So, you know, to be able to relinquish that to Tain was just, um, you know, yeah, it was absolutely stellar. Uh, thank you, man. And, and, you know, last and final thing, what, what would you tell someone that's considering possibly, you know, using my services, but they're on the fence? You know, whether if they're thinking about a discount brokerage, because there's a lot of services out there, right? Realtor, especially sure. in real estate, it's very competitive. There's a ton of realtors out there, a ton of services that are offering discount, right? But at the end yeah. of the day, there's a reason on why you pay for the full service. And again, it may not be a good fit for everybody. But, you know, right. in, in this scenario, it would have been a terrible fit for you if you paid somebody a discount fee where they really couldn't help you out, you know, through the process. Uh, what would you tell somebody that's considering, you know, possibly using my services, but they're on the fence? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. And hopefully I can keep everything in my brain. <laughs> I would put this out there, but you know, um, with Tain, you have options. Okay. And uh, what I've realized is, you know, you, 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 you kind of preface it where, you know, I, I chose, I ended up, I went with one option and I ended up, transitioning into a different option because I saw your level of effort and it's not at hundred percent. It's actually more than that. Um, what I realized, um, just beyond expectations. But, um, what I would say, you know, to, you know, to people that are on the fence, if, if team does call you and whether, regardless if it's, you know, FISBO in my situation, or if it's, you know, if you're seeking out a realtor or, um, you know, Tain does reach out to you because, you know, you just saw your property on the market and maybe I don't know, I don't know how that works, you know, but yeah. <clears throat> if, if you're on the fence, give him a try. It might not be a good fit, but you know, if it, it I, in my case, it was an, an absolutely great fit. You know, I sold my property when there was a pandemic and not saying that, you know, there was anything, um, you know, reckless that was involved. Yeah. Tain, again, is a professional. I mean, he, you know, didn't have to worry about anything like that. Um, but um, yeah, my property sold during a pandemic, which, you know, I'm, I'm glad I sold it now because I can't only imagine how the market's going to shape up afterwards, right? And I mean, he was on it as a project manager, um, being able to main, manage the, um, you know, the, the milestones, the uh, repairs, you know, uh, working with, um, you know, his list of contractors, stuff like that to make sure that everything got done according to the buyer's uh, specs. You know? Even after the sale. <laughs> Even yeah, after. absolutely. Everything. Just um, so, yeah. So if you're on the fence, give Tane a try. And I can't say that without enough emphasis because, um, and, and I know this not only from my experience, but you know, I, I now I, I've kind of, reviewed other reviews that Tane has received and they are just like mine. So definitely give Tane a try, um, you know, um, and then trust in him. Um, you know, and I mean, just have that dialogue, of course. Um, <clears throat> I mean, because yeah, yeah, just yeah. what's there to lose, right? To just yeah. two people talk I mean, and figure out what's, you know, if we're a good fit. It, yeah. And you said it earlier. I mean, the whole, the whole goal is to sell the property, you yeah. know, that's, that's, that is your fundamental purpose. And I, I see that even like when I was considering other offers, the things that you were offering as possible solutions were so creative and they were making it more palatable, pal palatable to take yeah. those offers. So yeah, I mean, definitely, um, definitely try Tane, go with Tane um, if it works in your situation, but definitely uh, take that phone call or make that call. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Jasper. Hey, again, yeah. I really appreciate you coming on, man. I, I think we've covered pretty much everything. Uh, it, it means a ton to me. And hey, Absolutely. you know, I'll definitely be in touch, man. Hope you enjoy yeah. the wines that I sent over. Um, oh, I love them. Enjoy your weekend, man. You too. Have a great Talk to you, Jasper. Thanks Thank again. you so much.
right, no problem, man. Anytime.